In this new tutorial from VideoProc, I'll show you how to easily compress any video and reduce its file size without losing quality. With the fast growth of 8K and Ultra HD 4K DSLRs, drones, action cameras and smartphones, everyone can capture high quality videos. But that takes a lot of storage. A 10 minute 4K video at 60 frames per second shot on an iPhone takes around 4 gigabytes. So it makes sense that you might want to reduce some of that file size while preventing any noticeable quality loss. First, you'll need software to do this. And you can use VideoProc Converter, which is an all-in-one video processing program with a quick video editor, a robust video converter, screen recording utilities. To download VideoProc Converter, just go to videoproc.com and use the blue button to get a free trial or use the orange button to purchase the pro version to get access to all the features, including compressing videos longer than five minutes. All right, so once you download and install VideoProc Converter, you will see this uh, welcome screen and you have to select from a couple of different options, but we will go with the first one here that says convert and process video. All right, so First things first, step number one, we have to drag the file here or click the plus button here to select a video file from our computer. But uh, the other option is to just drag and drop it from anywhere in an open folder. In our case, we have a video file here on the desktop. So I will just drag and drop it into the software like this. But first, let's have a quick look at the video that we want to compress right now. It's uh, basically a 15 second uh, stock video footage from a, pro from a project. And let's, uh, let's have a quick look at the file size because it's pretty, pretty big. As you can see, it's uh, 1.13 gigabytes, which is pretty large for a 15 second video. And the reason for that is that it's encoded with Apple ProRes in 4K resolution. And for whatever reason, let's say we need to reduce the file size and compress it without any noticeable quality loss. So step number two is here on the bottom, we have to select a target format and we have a couple of popular ones, some video formats, some specific ones for devices, music and so on. And we're just gonna go to the popular one. And if you cannot find it here, make sure to look for it under video, but we will look for MP4 encoded with HEVC. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select this one. And I would suggest you go with the default settings, but if you want to explore some more advanced settings, you can do that by clicking the little gear icon here. And again, this is pretty advanced territory, but I'm just gonna quickly go over some of those just so you can get a, an idea about what is what. So you can use this uh, slider here, which is going to influence the quality, but the quality also influences the encoding speed. So the higher the quality, the slower the compression, that means the longer it's gonna take. Or if you're in a rush, you can select a little bit of a lower quality, but the encoding is gonna be faster. So I will just go with high quality, then here on the middle, we have the video codec, which is HEVC, which supports hardware acceleration, which means the whole conversion is gonna be very, very fast. Next, we can update the frame rate if you want to change it, but honestly, I suggest you keep it as original. You can also change the resolution because right now we have a 4K video clip, uh, but let's say you want to update it to make it just full HD in uh, 1920 by 1080, so let's go with that. Aspect ratio, you can also update that, but uh, I suggest you go with the original one so you avoid ending up with basically a distorted image. Then here on the right, we have the bitrate, but I really suggest you let it uh, calculate automatically. But if you want to input a manual bitrate, you can do that as well. And then for the audio codec, you can uh, change the sample rate if you need it to be 48 kilohertz, but I will just go with 44.1 as that's uh, the default one from the video. And then you can also update the bit rate to increase it or make it smaller. So when it's all said and done, just click the done button. We'll use those settings. 
And next, before we run the compression, you need to select the output folder by using the browse button here to navigate somewhere on your computer. But in our case, the output folder is the desktop and that's the one that I want to use. So now that we are ready to convert, it's time to click the big blue button that says run. And first we will see this uh, notification to upgrade to the pro version of VideoProc Converter to get access to all the features and remove the five minute limit. But for this video, we will just keep using the free version. And now the compression is starting and it's literally gonna take only a couple of seconds. That was really, really fast actually. All right, so now we are on the desktop and as you can see, we have this uh, .mov file which is the original one, 1.13 gigabytes. And we also have this uh, other one, this .mp4, which is the current output of our compression, with only 7.1 megabytes. And that is literally a reduction of over 99%. So if we open this up and play it back, it's almost impossible to notice any quality loss. All right, that was our quick tutorial on how you can compress a video and reduce its file size without losing quality. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you won't miss any of our new content. And make sure to let us know in the comment section below what sort of videos you like us to make next. I'll see you soon.